let's see if you can hear me now. I hope so. Oh, goodness gracious. Try no, you still can't hear me. Nope, you cannot hear me. Okay, hang tight with me. I'm having trouble having trouble with volume. Oh, now you can hear me. Okay, good. Ooh, so glad. Thank you so much. Oh, I had one of my mics on, uh, off, and I thought that I had it um, all set up, but I didn't. How are you all? Thanks for coming in. I'm, I'm just checking some comments here. I'm on YouTube and I'm on Facebook Live. So, um, thank you all for sharing last time and for joining on Facebook and on YouTube. Um, I saw quite a few of you um, commenting over on YouTube, so that's good. Uh, with this StreamYard thing, I can, I can broadcast to both, um, so I'm kind of excited about that. Uh, hi, Patty. Hi, Carol. Hi, Judy. Hi, Kelly. Chloe. Um, hello. Let me see who else is here. I appreciate your being here. Okay, so here we are for another Facebook Live, YouTube Live. Um, I have a card kit for you. Um, I think a few weeks ago, when I first came live again, uh, was a Subway Series Yankees and the Mets baseball team, and tonight I decided to represent the Yankees, which is my team, and Patty, I know that's your team too, and um, a couple of other from New York, Stacy. And uh, it's another Subway Series tonight with the Yankees and the Mets. So thanks for being here with me and spending a little bit of time. Um, I wanted to share that. Uh, let's see. What do I want to tell you? I'm really a little bit unprepared tonight, which is not unusual. But <laughs> I try to be as prepared as possible. Oh, and I didn't want to show you the cards either. Um, let me put that to the side. I will show you the kits, but I'm not going to show you the cards. So what I'm doing tonight is a little bit of uh, recreating cards that I've created in the past using different paper and, and materials. So um, I just wanted to show you a different way to use your paper. And this is current paper tonight that I'm using. It's called Butterfly Kisses. It's all in here. I've used so much of it um, that I put them in separate, each pattern in a separate baggie um, because I was playing around. Here's a, a card that I made, but I'm not making this one tonight. And then I was playing around with those colors. See, this color is really not my thing. These colors, this uh, Crush Curry so I decided to put it away and not make it tonight. It's cute, um, but we are gonna use the pretty colors that I love. This is my favorite paper, actually, in the pack. And we're using several dis uh, stamp sets. I'll show you. I'm gonna use Special Moments, which is retired, In Your Words, which is retired, and Peaceful Moments is current. And Let's see what other things am I using tonight. I'm using, I'm going to put the full screen on. I'll come back. Um, using scallop contours, um, tailor made, penned flowers, stitch greenery. These are all current. Brilliant wings. The only one that's not current is tasteful labels and we're just using a tag from here and I won't ever get rid of this one either. So those are all the dies just to make these three cards that I've used and then I am also using this punch, the leaf punch, I don't know, I think it's called bow punch. And then if you want to um, place a minimum $35 order in my online store you can, the link is in the description and use the host code and I will send you a kit that is going to include um, a quarter pack of the paper. So that's one sheet, don't mind that this is half. Um, that's one sheet of each 
piece of the designer series paper so there's 12 different papers double-sided you'll get one sheet of each to create these cards tonight and then this is what and then you'll also get um, two strips of the sequins here and then the kit looks like this it's all cut up for you that's what the kit looks like so a minimum $35 purchase in my online store um, between tonight and Wednesday evening at 11.59 p.m. you could earn this using the host code that is in the description. I'm just trying to make sure that everyone can still hear me. Okay, uh, someone said I can hear you. Okay, great. Um, okay, so that's that. Like I said, minimum $35 purchase in my online store. It, the link is in the description and so is the host code and you can have this kit that we're making tonight. At the end, I'm going to give away a card, not these cards, different cards that I created to a share from last week, uh, the, two weeks ago, and a commenter from two weeks ago. So I'll be doing that at the end. And let's get started. Um, for anyone that's new here, my name is Antoinette Bay. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Limbrook, New York. Um, and thank you for being here with me tonight. I am going to put myself small and I'm going to add myself to the stream, but I'm going to go small. Okay, just so you could see me. That's the whole purpose of having StreamYard, so that way you could see me crafting while um, I'm on screen with you. And I hope the lighting seems to be okay. And if you need to reach out to me, you can reach me here at, you can take a snapshot of that, um, and it seems a little bit, I'm going to move this a little bit. I did not take the time to adjust everything the way I wanted it. So you could take a picture of that if you'd like, um, or I'll leave it up here and then pull it back down later. Oh, you know what, it's going to be in my way. Okay, let's get started with card number one. So card number one, I created a card um, using the pansy paper and I decided to take that design and create this card. So these are all the pieces that you would get in your kit. I've already done all the pre-cutting these last few classes I've done all the pre-cutting because I'm doing three cards I'm doing three kits so I don't want to be here for hours um, and I'm sure you don't either so I'm just taking a little strip right now and going to put this on the inside while I well that's the first piece that I pulled out and I'll put that right there on the bottom and then cut off the excess and then inside the kit is this smaller butterfly so all these are pre-cut for you as well in the kit and I'm going to add a little liquid glue so the only thing that you'll have to do is stamp a sentiment and I am sure that you are all loaded with stamp sets and sentiments at home and like I said this kit will have a some gems and um, what was I saying some gems and uh, a quarter pack of paper so this is parakeet party this is fresh freesia so parakeet party cardstock is this year 2022 to 24 in colors fresh Freesia is 2020 to 2022 or 2021 yeah uh, 2020 to 2022 which is this is going to go away when this color will go away when the new catalog comes out um, so let's just add some leaves behind here this is too much so I'm going to add some adhesive the lighting's not very good, it looks like. Hmm. Let me see if I can 
shut one of my lights off and we'll get a better view. Maybe that will help a little bit. I think that I think that helps a little bit. And then we'll go down here. And I think in my next Facebook Live, which will be in a couple of weeks from tonight, I might just create one card instead of a kit. Um, it's too many leaves. How's everybody been doing the last couple of weeks? I hope okay. Hope everybody's been. I have. Oh, I have a beautiful card, Carol. I saw you on here um, that I received from Carol um, in the mail. I just got it yesterday, so I'm going to share that at the end as well. It's gorgeous. Um, let's put this on the inside. Hi, Stacy. I just saw your comment, and Sonia. Thank you for sharing. I appreciate all the shares really helps me grow this little group that we have okay they're nice and pretty on the inside and as I said this is fresh freesia now what we're going to do is you know my favorite thing we're going to cut this in half this is fresh freesia woven or sheer I forget what it's called exactly but it's current and it is fresh freesia and I'm just cutting up the middle and one of them we're using on this card and one we'll be using on the last card so in your kit if you order and you get this kit there will be a charge for shipping it's minimal 350 it's usually 375 anywhere between 375 and 475 depending on where you are in the United States and it can ship only in the United States So now I have this scallop piece, and this is from the scalloped contours die that I showed earlier. And the back of this butterfly piece is the polka dot. And I'm going to place that on here. Like that. And then this is... Um, slightly an eighth of an inch smaller than the base of the card and I love the back of this paper too we're using this the back of uh, this pattern on another on the last card so now we can go like that So I've had a quiet couple of weeks. My husband's uh, summer season is winding down. Um, his busiest time of the year is between May and September. And um, so he's winding down in the next couple of weeks, which is I'm very happy about. And we have our first trip planned, which we always do in September around my birthday. We generally take a couple of days. We stay pretty local, and um, but we get away every year. And then in October, we're planning another trip. So I'm always excited to see to the to see the end of the summer. Honestly, um, I I have a my summers are very quiet because my husband works. Um, you know, I do things, I get together with friends for breakfast and lunch, I do lots of eating and things like that. I don't travel too far, because um, I work too. So I don't like to take vacation time when my husband isn't able to. So my summers are very quiet. And I've gotten a lot done around here, so it's been nice. Um, I've had classes in the house and now I'm going to take these and add them to the card here and we're going to also take some ribbon and I think I'm going to break this up a little bit because I don't need all of that let's see I'll case the card you case the card that I sent that's okay if you case the card can I share it it's beautiful I case all the time, you know me. 
I love that card. It's so gorgeous. And then I'll put this little piece right, right over here. It's so cheerful and so colorful. And then we'll take this ribbon that I just cut up. Let's see, I'm trying to, for some reason my, my comments are coming in on my phone, but they're not coming in on my laptop where I'm trying to watch. And I'm really unhappy with the lighting tonight. Let me see if I can do something about that. Gonna, maybe my one light is too far away. That could very well be. Let me see if that helps a little bit. I don't know. I might need another overhead light coming from this way. I'm not sure. Okay, so here's the ribbon. I just did a bow. And then I have some twine, white twine. I'm going to add that as well. throw that with the blue dot right down there okay great thank you Carol I'll share it going to on stage in November I am I registered Stacy but I'm I'm not a hundred percent I'm going um, yet I registered for actually Arlington Texas um, where some other teammates are um, and I know that we are on the same team and are you registered and if so where are you going um, this piece is a little too far up I'm going to bring that down and I'll just go like this and this one's a little too far down oh my gosh my leaves are a mess tonight and now I'm going to put some dimensionals behind here so where are you go registered for on stage in Arlington oh Ke Kelly is that's great Kelly maybe I'll see you there I'm not 100% sure if I'm able to go yet and Stacy's in Jacksonville I should have known that um, Stacy Anybody else going to on stage in November? Um, I want to go, but I'm not 100% sure. I have a lot going on between, I have two weddings um, coming up, October and November. So I'm not 100% sure yet. And if I do go, it'll just be for, you know, the Friday night and the Saturday night for sure, and then coming home right away. Um, okay so there's that so now what I'm going to do is take some of these these are included two strips are included in your pack Heather and Lisa going with oh, okay great Heather Guerrero and Lisa Cunningham my Stampin friends who are part of the reason why I'm going to Arlington because that's where they're going um, so I'm just going to gem this up with some sequins. Now I found these sequins in old paper pumpkins and I have enough that for anyone that orders. So I'll put three in the middle that I can give away two strips. And I'll put one up here and whoops one down down here down here so five i'll put five on there so there's card number one and then here's the original i used the iridescent gems on the original um and i, I used a few more um and oh we're not done i didn't do the sentiment what am i thinking i'm telling you i'm really out of it today Here's the sentiment. I put this down. I knew something was missing, but I wasn't sure what. So, what am I going to use? Which one am I using on here? I think I'm going to use Happy Birthday on this one. 
my goodness. I'm paying attention to the comments and not paying attention to what I'm doing. Um, Facebook user, hello, Antoinette. Hello, I don't know who you are. I can't say hello back because I don't know your name. You can give StreamYard permission um, to see your name if you'd like. Uh, Sandy Bennett is registered for Pittsburgh. Good for you, Sandy. I'm glad to hear it. I'm um, glad to hear so many of you are going. Now, where's the Versamark? Here it is. Okay, Versamark and embossing powder. It should be a good time. I mean, this week, um, a lot of my friends that are Stampin' Up! demonstrators are Silver Elite, and they're going to, um, on stage, uh, wait, it, on stage is in November, backstage. So I used to be Silver Elite, but I'm not anymore, so I couldn't go to um, on stage. So now I'm taking the happy birthday and stamp inking it up in Versamark. And now I'm going to dip it into white embossing powder. And so I can't go to New Orleans. That's where they're New Orleans. I think that's how you say it. Um, so I can't go there. Okay. Now I'm going to mute. Um, I'm going to mute this so I can do the um, heat tool. Okay. So I'll mute, mute for a second. If I can get this to move. Okay, there we go. I'm back. Now I'm going to flag the end. Actually, I need to make it smaller. It's too, it's too fat, the label. I need to cut just a little bit more off. Flag, and now I can get that underneath here. I don't need the whole thing. And I'll lift this up and put some dimensionals behind there and problem solved. Can't believe I forgot to put dimensionals. Um, I mean the sentiment. And there you have it. Okay, that's better, right? Now we have the sentiment, and that's all set. Okay, are you not seeing YouTube comments? No, I'm not seeing YouTube comments, I don't think. Um, let me see. Hold on one second. Watch, don't mind my finger. I'm just going to see if I see any coming. No. Oh, yes, there is one YouTube comment. Let's see. I see one from... You always come up with the prettiest cards. Thank you so much for combining some old and new. Not all are able to get most current products all the time. Oh, you're very welcome. Thank you for that comment. That was very nice of you, Chloe. I'm going to assume that's your name, Chloe. Let's see if I can get that comment um, up on the screen. For I like that. Um, Let's see. It looks like Judy made a comment from YouTube as well. Um, hi, it's Judy Duncan from Te Texas. I'm eager to see your cards. Yeah, it looks like I am getting YouTube comments, Deborah. Um, did you place a YouTube comment and I didn't see it? If so, I'll get to it. Um, 
let's see, you said, um, if it's okay, if it's okay, if not just shared, and wanted you to know. Okay, thank you. Thank you for sharing. I'll see it. I'll see it later. I usually do go back and see it. I always go back and see comments um, on Facebook and YouTube. Okay, so I'll show you the original, like, the card that I used, that I created, um, to copy myself. So, I'm going to make several of these as well, but um, this is using that pansy paper, and I decided to make the same card using the butterfly kisses. So, hopefully you could see that there. So this is the one that I created, and I was going to use it for this class, and I said, you know what, I could very well recreate some of the cards I've made with current paper. So this is current paper, and these are current dies. This is a current stamp set, and the other two that I'm using are going to be old stamp sets. But Okay, so there you go. Same card, different paper. Okay, let's move on to card number two. So card number two is also a card where I cased myself, and you, some of you may remember it um, from a while back. And on this card, you see all these little pieces here. And the reason for that is because I was playing with this paper so much that I ran out. And I really needed a full sheet to cover this. So tonight, I'm not using a full sheet. Um, but your kit will have a full sheet, and I'll show you um, later. So let's fold the thick white cardstock uh, card base, and then this is Calypso Coral, and this is the back of that paper. But um, So what I'm going to do is take this and cover these die-cut butterflies. So... I ran this piece of paper through the the die with the stitched greenery. I'll show you which one that is, just in case you need to be reminded of what you saw earlier. So this was the stitched greenery, and then I took the butterfly die, and then I got these pieces out of that and this. Okay, so now I'm just going to throw some liquid glue around the butterfly to hold these pieces of paper and like I said you if you get the kit you won't have to do this you'll have a full sheet of paper to cover the whole base but I have to do this because I don't have enough paper left over it's playing too much and I need to cut this off a little bit So my mess tonight with this will not be your mess if you get the kit. And then this one goes here. And then this goes here. And I can see I need to push that over a little bit. And then this can be cut off. Okay, so now I'm going to put a little piece of, a uh, little strip of glue, liquid glue, at the edge here. And this is Calypso Coral cardstock that I'm putting right behind it. And then this strip will go right here. Um, actually, I need a larger strip from, um, this strip is too small, I cut it too small, so I have this strip right here that has to go there. And then I'll cut it down. So what I'm trying to say is that this whole piece would get covered with one piece that's four and a quarter by five and a half. 
but because I have so little, I have to make do with what I have and and piecemeal it. And that's a good way to use up your scraps anyway, right? No sense in letting scraps like that go to waste. And now we're going to glue that right on top. Okay, hold on. I just want to move this out of the way so I can see the most current. Sharon Duff, what is the name of the DSP you are using? It is called um, Butterfly Kisses. And it comes with 12 different sheets. Um, four of each sheet um, double-sided. Butterfly Kisses. And it is a current catalog item. Okay, so now I'm going to cut this down. I might have to use my other trimmer for this because, yeah, I will. I'll have to use my other trimmer. Okay, so now we'll take the butterflies. Mine's a little ripped, but it's okay. Um, I kept the ripped ones for myself. And then just adhere the body. Uh, throw some liquid glue behind the body of each butterfly. Do some of you remember this card I did from a long time ago um, on a Facebook Live? Using, um, actually, I think I used, I used this paper from this card, the pansy paper, when I did this card last. So I'm copying myself. Now I don't have an original of that card, but it is on my blog. And then this. Okay. Okay. And then we'll manipulate that later. Now this will go on the inside actually. That's what this piece was for for the inside. And then this Calypso Coral Butterfly. Now like I said, all of these pieces are cut for you except for uh, the die cuts are cut for you, done for you. The Because you're getting half a quarter of a pack of designer series paper in your kit. If you place your order, you'll be cutting down the paper yourself and I'll give you measurements. Okay, now we're going to do a sentiment. And for this one, I'm going to use um, what did I want to use for this one? Oh, just a little high from me. I thought that was cute. Or the thing I like about you is everything, but I, or I have something for you. Just something really small that would fit on here. So I'm going to use it just a little high from me. Um, it's right here. Um, when Stampin' Up! comes out with sets that have a lot of words in it, that are all words, I don't tend to get rid of those. I probably would never will because you know, you always need something like that, you know? You always need sentiments. You know, you don't always want to use thank you and happy birthday and best wishes and things like that. You always want to say a little something. Now, I have a craft fair coming up on October 2nd. It's my, I figured, why not? It's my, um, it'll be the first one I've done in a long time. So, I'm going to do it, and I need a lot of cards, and if you saw my post the other day, I have 
the over the last two weeks I've been posting some cards where I've been making a lot and I've been copying speaking of casing Carol uh, I've been casing many demonstrators that I found on Instagram and using up my designer series paper um, and I'll show you those cards again and now I'm just going to dip this into the white powder embossing powder this might come out a little bit smudgy I don't even know if that's a word but okay I'm going to put the heat tool back on and I will lower the volume so you don't have to hear it if I can get my computer to work the way I want it. Okay. Now I have this and I'm going to adhere it to the back. But enough so that I can make a bow. So I just want to wrap it around and make a long bow or have some hanging down off the card. Let's see. Now, when I'm having a hard time like this, what I do is take my tweezers, and I don't remember what demonstrator I learned this from a long time ago, and I hold it down like that, and then I tie my bow there. That made it so much easier. So one is longer than the other, but I don't mind that. And I'm going to put some dimensionals behind there. And that'll go right about here. That may be too long. And then we'll put some gems on there. So I'll put a, these little sequins. I'll put five on there. And there's the second card. And like I said, this is a case of myself from many months ago, sometime last year. So there's the inside and the inside. So that's card number two. We have one more to go. What do you think of that? Um, glue also helps. Let's see. How much are you selling your cards for at the craft fair? Um, five dollars each um, depending on the card um, some are seven and some are more so they're anywhere I have a whole list and then um, uh, you get you buy four at five at, let's say at five dollars each you buy four you get one free so in essence you get five for twenty bucks and the seven dollar ones are generally the uh, cards that are uh, slimline long tall and slimline and they are generally $7 because I also make special envelopes for those. And um, those are 7 So, um, or buy four, uh, buy three, get the fourth free. So that's how that works. Okay. Um, I can, I was going to have a Zoom, actually. It's funny you asked that. I was going to have a Zoom. Uh, ask everybody here if they would like for me to sell my cards via Zoom. Um, I do have a store, but I only on my blog, but it's, there's only 15 cards on there right now. I have not um, updated that just yet. But um, 
Yeah, you can email me with any questions at abay at the paper papillion .com, um, if you have any questions at all about my cards or what I'm selling them for. Um, you may be a demonstrator and are selling, but I'm in New York, so um, I don't think $5 is a lot for this area, and especially with all the detail that goes into the cards. Um, so this one might be, let's just say, a little simpler, but it balance out balances out so that could be your you know your fifth card your free card you know um, if you wanted you know but it'll have a little green uh, circle on it that indicates that it's five dollars so I have little circles on them that are green or pink or yellow and it tells you the price that there's a chart that would tell you the price um, now I'm trying to find my last card for this kit so here are all the pieces Okay, and then we'll bring them all over. So I also use the timber um, embossing folder here. I don't know if you could see that. Let's see if you can get a good look at that. Um, uh, thank you. Um, Lynn, oh great, you'll be casing it. Good, case away, case away. Now this is a case of myself, but it's a case of Tammy, uh, uh, Tammy Wilson yeah a long time ago I did this card too and uh, using the peach sweet as a peach paper and um, so now I'm casing myself and casing Tammy um, and using this butterfly kisses paper so this is Calypso coral cardstock once again this is um, just white cardstock and I embossed it with the timber folder which I really like um, we had something, a wood grain folder that was similar, but it had these lines through it. So I'm liking this better because it doesn't have the lines. So generally when there's something similar, I don't generally get it because I can use what I already have. But I opted to get this one because I like that the, it doesn't have these lines going through it like the other one did. Okay. So now I have, this is my favorite piece. This is the base. Here is a scallop piece from uh, the hand pen dies, or the pen dies. I'm gonna put that right behind here with a little liquid glue. And that's not the right way. I can go all the way to the side and I'm bringing it all the way to the stitching okay just like that and then we're going to take this piece so this is um, the piece that I had mentioned that I liked so we're going to use that piece and put a little glue on here and it's going to go right on the bottom of this piece. So I want to have about the same amount of space on the bottom and on the sides. And then we'll do this piece. But before I do that, I do have to cut this off. The excess has to get cut off before I put it down. using a lot of liquid glue tonight because I need to move things around and then this will go right on top and as I said I want to have a same amount of space on top and on the sides just like that and then we'll put dimensionals behind there let's see saying hello I'm late again catch the replay yep replay will always be here and get a nice I always use too many dimensionals but I don't care I like to use dimensionals I like the sturdiness of a card when I don't have it sinking somewhere especially since a lot of my cards do get mailed out I want them to be nice and sturdy Okay, 
So this is the inside. Oh, wrong way. Let's put that there. Okay. So now we still have that piece that I used earlier, right? That uh, we cut in half. So we'll bow that. And I am sorry for the lighting because I can really see that this lighting is not good tonight. And it, my lighting was always good. And I don't know if it's StreamYard or me, but it's not good. So I'm going to have to play with my lighting a bit. There's a shadow every time I move around, and I don't like that either. So I apologize for the lighting. Last time it seemed okay. This time, not so much. And it could just be my computer. Now I'm going to put some adhesive right here in the middle. It's going to get covered up there. And then this can go right there. All of that is going to get covered up. And then we have all of these pieces. So I'm going to use the white and Calypso on the front and the Calypso and the white on the inside. So this is for the inside. And let's stamp the sentiment in Calypso Coral. Grab that. What is the name of the ribbon? The name of the ribbon that I'm using, if you hold on one second, I will get that. Um, is open weave ribbon and it's fresh freesia and we had cut it in half just in case you missed it and so that's where it's cut in half and this is calypso coral ink and i'm going to use on this one i'm going to use uh let's see i did one with happy birthday right and one a little note um hmm Let's see. Oh, I think I'm going to do thank you on this card. I'll do thank you from the Peaceful Moments, which is a current set. And I want to bring it over to the right a little bit. Tammy, thanks for sharing. I'm well. Uh, you're not too late. Can always catch the replay. Um, right? That's the good thing about this. Replay is always there. And you always get more views on replay than you do live anyway. Which is good. But thank you for the thumbs up and the hearts. I really appreciate that. The more of you that do that, it also helps me on Facebook and YouTube. Um, and that's a really simple thing to do is just give a thumbs up and a love, a heart, um, right? doesn't cost anything. And it really helps your fellow demonstrator. So this one's going to be for the inside and this one will be for the outside. And now we're going to put our leaves. I'm going to bend these a little bit, give it a little definition De bend these just a bit tomorrow's a work day I mean every day is a work day but tomorrow's an actual commuting day into the city um, I never look forward to that but thank goodness it's not every day anymore I actually should have probably put these down first, so I'm going to take these up, put them over to the side. I am really out of sorts today, and throw these in here. And I'm using uh, quite a few leaves here for this, and then I'm going to add some of the Calypso Coral 
and they come from um, this punch both these leaves and this is current this punch can you see it is current as well I think it's called bow punch I think just put this on here with some dimensionals. Oh, first we'll put this back. Now I want that on there. And then we'll put some dimensionals on here. Now, last time, um, I usually tell you if you're getting the kit for free, if you're placing your $35 minimum order with me, to get this kit for free um, there is the shipping charge which is minimal but um, I usually tell you to refer to the live video here um, but now I'm doing um, separate clean videos for those that do get the kit um, and you'll have a supply list as well um, and the videos will be clean it won't be um, a replay of Facebook live and you have to go figure it out it will be a clean video making these cards okay so just in case you're wondering okay so this is going to go on top of here like that with some liquid glue you can fiddle faddle with your ribbons and I'm going to put a dimensional behind there now so that I know where it's sitting and you can always add some more leaves and then we'll do the inside and then add some gems just took this and once again just put down let's put a little adhesive down here too and I'm going to clean up a little bit on this leaf And let's put some more of those gems on. Like I said, these are sequins from a paper pumpkin that I was cleaning up and I saw them and I said, oh, those could be useful on my cards. And that's where they came from. So I have one up here and maybe one down here and that makes five. And then there's that. So there you have it, three cards. So that's the kit and as I mentioned, this is what, before I bring all the cards out, this is what the kit looks like. It comes to you all packaged like this. You get two strips of sequins, everything die cut for you. The only thing you'll need is a stamp set with sentiments. And if you want to do some Versa marking, otherwise you just use whatever inks you have at home. And then you get a quarter pack of designer series paper and you'll just cut down your own strips of designer series paper. Now, for that card number two, as I was mentioning, you would need a, a full four and a quarter by five and a half inch sheet 
not the piecemeal that I had. Okay, so in the description there's a host code. You would want to use that host code and um, there's a link to my online store and you'd want to place your order by 11.59 p.m. on Wednesday. That's when I'm closing it out. And then um, I would then, once I see you place your order, charge you for um, shipping once the kits are cut and ready to be shipped out. Shipping would go through PayPal, so you would need to use your current or Venmo or however you prefer. You'd have to email me and tell me that. Um, but it's been generally, the kits have been about $375 in the U.S. That's the only place I can ship. So if you have any questions about that, let me know. In the meantime, I'll bring out all three cards we created tonight and this one and where's the first one we did right over here here's the first one okay so one two and three i think you can get a pretty good picture of that right um i hope you like them i didn't cut anything down here like i didn't cut any of my ribbons down just kind of like went with it tonight let's see hope you like let's cut that a little all right so now I'm going to um, show you what cards I'm giving away um, for the two weeks ago when I oh wait first I want to share the card beautiful card I got in the mail from Carol. Now Carol tells me she cased it, but who cares because it's beautiful and um, because um, I'm going to case it because this is like my favorite flowers. Um, so here you go from Carol. Look at the beautiful card stock she used and she used the pierced blooms, which I said a couple of weeks ago and never getting rid of. I don't know if I have this polka dot um, die, but and she gave me a, a beautiful uh, card on the inside and a note on the inside. And Carol, I just love your um, stamp. You'll have to email me and tell me where you got. Um, hi, Patricia. You'll have to email me and tell me where you got that beautiful stamp because I really like it. Um, but isn't that gorgeous? So simple and so beautiful. I just love it. Thank you so much, Carol. Um, a couple of weeks ago, I shared two or three other cards that I'd gotten in the mail, which I really um, enjoyed showing. I don't have them in front of me right now. Uh, let me see if there's anything else I want to share before I do the cards. Nope, I think that's it. So I'll be back in two weeks. Let me get the cards that I am actually giving away. Gosh, I can't find anything over here. You Go figure, it's such a small space. Um, so I did the random scrolling. I'm going to put myself up here. Um, let's remove the, um, Anita Germano, nope, let's remove that and add stream. Anita Germano, let's see. Gosh, it's so hard to see. And this is the card that I also made on a Facebook Live a long time ago. It, I actually made several others, so I stamped the envelope. And what I did here on the envelope is I used a Q tip and, and used my ink pad instead of blends. And um, I, that's how I colored that in. So um, this is for Anita Germano. Thank you for sharing, uh, commenting on my video. And FYI, there's the little green polka dot that tells me that it's a $5 card. Um, just for those of you that were asking about what I sell my cards for. And then the next card is going to go to uh, for sharing is one of the ones that I shared the other day. This is not my design, but I created it, and it says "Hello, friend." And it is uh, one of those I made a bunch of these, and that for sharing from um, YouTube and Facebook I combined, and that is Nora Taylor. So thanks for the share. Uh, these cards are going out to Anita and Nora over the next 
probably tomorrow or the next day when I'm off to work. Um, so thank you for sharing. And um, thank you so much. I will go get that. So hang on, I'll put my, I'll put that there for a second and I'll get it. Here it is. Okay. Okay. So here's all my scraps. So I used, um, cottage rose bundle to make the because that's what they used and um, I use like some old watercolor paper I had this huge watercolor paper so this is the tag and I only use like ivory and white and black because like I said it's a mock-up of um, of a million dollar achievers card and I'm going to do it in a different color they did it in um, uh, pale papaya and I'm going to do mine in a different color but I needed for measurements and things like that, so I made my own envelope. Actually, you can't see that it's actually an envelope at the moment because I didn't adhere anything. And so this would be a belly band tag at some point. It'll go around like that, right? And then, um, and I don't remember whose card, who earned this um, particular, but they used the cottage rose. Let me get that. Uh, this is the bundle that was used um, on the card for the million dollar achievement and those are the dies so it went something like that you could see like this is an old folder and and uh, there's some die cutting and this is old paper um, and then it opens up like that and then it has this whole side um, and like I said this is a complete mock-up um, just using old papers and very muted colors uh, because I'm not going to create it with real colors yet until I know. And then it opens up like this. And um, here's some vellum. And then in here in the center will go, something else will go in there. Some cir circle, they put a sentiment in the middle. And then a tag um, goes in here. And you can see the dies. So this is a sample of how they did it using different papers and this is my mock-up and this is going to be one of my specialty cards that you've seen me if you've been around with me for a while I like to recreate those million dollar achiever cards using different papers and different stamp sets or dies and creating something of my own with a beautiful design by a concept artist in Stampin' Up! who makes them for those uh, million dollar and now two and three million dollar achievers and then that would get belly banded but I thought I'd share hope you enjoyed that little sneak peek of something I'm working on um, a mock-up I'm working on that will eventually turn into a card and I hope to get it a few of them done before that October 2nd because this I would consider this is like a specialty card it's like something I would give my daughter if say she got a new job or a promotion or uh, for a milestone um, occasion um, I usually give her things like this so when I see something like that I love to recreate it but anyway that's it um, what else did I have I think that's it anyway I'll let you guys um,
doesn't like my face. Okay, can you hear me now? Oh well. Anyway, thanks for sticking around. I'll see you soon. I'll see you soon. Bye.